Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, my name is Nadia Kurnati I'm from the Accounting Department of Sriwijaya State Polytechnic This time, I will show a video about tips of job interview Don't forget to like this video and have you watching Thank you for coming in and for your interest in our company and the position I would like to use this interview productively to learn as much as possible about you in a relatively short period of time. I'm going to lead our conversation with questions, but you are more than welcome to jump in and to ask me whatever you might consider useful about the company or about the role. I'm also going to take a few notes on my laptop and I hope that isn't too distracting. Let's start with tell me about yourself question. Who are you? What have you studied so far? What has been your experience? Yes, sir. My name is Nadia Kornayati. I'm from the Accounting Department of Sriwijaya State Polytechnic. And speaking of my experience, I once joined an organization at the Sriwijaya State Polytechnic, where I had a campus as a public relations officer. Okay. So why did you choose that particular major and at that particular school? I choose Sriwijaya State Polytechnic because Sriwijaya State Polytechnic is one of the best polytechnic in Indonesia and besides that, it produces qualified and skilled graduates. Polytechnic graduates are educated to have a spirit, culture, environmental insight and are able to compete at national and international levels. While the reason I took particular major is uh, counting as a goal is that education is one of the important things to compete through the difficult times of life in the era of globalization. However, we as a society as well as student must also be wise in making decisions and choosing files of study that are appropriate and suitable for us and I have decided that my field of study is accounting and for accounting offers great job prospect. During your preparation for this interview, I guess you thought about what you do the best, what are your biggest strengths and how do you think our company would benefit from them? I have the biggest strength to adapt quickly in new environments. For example, I have to join various organizations that can push me to become a better person. In addition, I am also active and a careful person. Therefore, I can contribute in this company with the strength that I have. What about your development areas? What do you have identified as your greatest and biggest improvement areas? And what have you done to improve them so far? Sometimes, I often forget my schedule, but to overcome this, I have found a way, namely by writing down the entire schedule that I will do in the future using my handphone or small notebook. I see on your resume that you had switched jobs not too long ago. Why did you leave your previous position? I simply left my previous job as I was fortunate to have worked on various interesting projects during my three years, which have helped me to really hone my skill and expertise in public accounting. Although I really enjoy working before, I feel it was time to explore various industry for my future career growth, especially in this international company. I want to expand my skill in accounting and I'm ready for new challenges that will make me a better person. All right. Why are you interviewing with me today? What made you apply for this job and why do you want to work here? I want to work in this company because this company is an international company. It's a very good company, especially in the financial sector and I'm sure working in this company will definitely add value to the career of an accountant. Okay, so now tell me about a time when you were in charge of a project with a deadline. Which was the project and how did you meet the deadline? Well, sir, for example, when I have to choose between tests and organization, I try my best to minimize the time available to make my to-do list. 
Next, I will do the work that the deadline is closer and when finished, I will immediately work on the next test. In this way, the work we have will be complete more quickly and balanced. Okay, and so tell me about a time when you showed an initiative on the job. When was it and which was the outcome? Well, sir, for example, in an organization, I start an initiative in my work by providing ideas or input at a meeting or there is a problem in this organization that I follow. Tell me about a time when your communication skills helped you at your job. When was it and what did you do? Well, sir, talking about my communication skill, I don't think I have a problem with that and I hope I can give the best for this company. Okay, now give an example of a situation where you have to deal with the conflict at work. What did it consist of and how was it resolved? If I have a problem in my work, I will apply these things, namely, one, dealing with problems, I will immediately confront the person who has a problem with me because allowing the problem to drag on isn't a good thing to do and it's getting harder and harder to solve it. To become, be careful with body language, facial expression, and also the tone of speech use. Three, appreciate your opinion. After hearing what the other person has to say, give the impression that you are interested in what they have to say and the less I will ask my coworkers or boss for help or for opinion. You know we're currently interviewing more candidates. That's why I would like to ask you, why do you think we should hire you? And why do you think we should choose you over other candidates? Judging from the skills and my experience, I will try my best not to disappoint this company and, of course, I will give my best for this company. In addition, as a public relations officer, I also really enjoy working with many people, which is certainly needed in this public accountant position. Now, do you have any questions for me? Alright sir, I have a few questions, namely, the first question is, what is the biggest potential of this company? The second, what are the challenges facing the company now? And the lastly, how does the company assess the performance of an employee? I think that's enough and thank you sir.